What's going on? It's Engineer Mojo back again with another car tutorial video. Today we're going to discuss and I'm going to demonstrate how to change your clutch master cylinder for a Honda Civic. Very simple process. This applies to any 92 to 2000 Honda Civic or Acura Integra, also Del Sol's, and the list goes on for Honda. That's how they do it. So I like to get it started off fast with the tools you'll need. You'll need an assortment of cotter pins. Uh, Typically, I just pick up a 1 16th. This is a fairly small cotter pin for the linkage between your clutch master cylinder and your clutch pedal. Definitely need this because you want to replace the old one that you're going to remove. You'll need a funnel to funnel the brake fluid into the reservoir. You'll need a 10 millimeter flare nut wrench. And you can tell it's a flare nut by the little opening. And this is so that you can take off your clutch hard line and you definitely want to use this tool so that you don't strip that bolt. If you use a regular wrench, you run a, a real possibility of stripping that hard line bolt. You want to have a ratchet, a three inch extension, a deep 12 millimeter, and a deep 10 millimeter. The deep 10 millimeter is optional. You want to use some pliers, and this is to remove the spring clamp on your clutch reservoir as well as removing the cotter pin. An alternative tool to using this plier for the cotter pin is to use a little pick to be able to get inside the opening of the cotter pin. You'll need whatever brand DOT 3 brake fluid and this is the fluid that is used inside your clutch line. And you want to have a clear 3 8 inch outer diameter tubing and this is so you can bench bleed your clutch master cylinder easily. Here's just a quick overview of the clutch master cylinder and the components that are associated with it. You have these two 10 millimeter bolts, clutch fluid reservoir, clutch line going back to the master cylinder itself, and then you have the master cylinder back there, and the clutch line that goes to your slave cylinder on your transmission, this piece right here. Now moving inside the car, you have your clutch pedal. This is all part of the clutch assembly. You have the bracket itself that's holding the clutch pedal together in there. Then you have these two bolts right here, 12 millimeter, and another 12 millimeter. And then here's your push rod for the clutch master cylinder. Here's a linkage. Now, if you look closer, there's a pin, pin bolt. On the other side, you should be able to see that there is a cotter pin that is holding that in. As you can see, that little wire piece right there that's what's holding that push bolt inside the linkage as you can see it's a pretty simple assembly for your clutch line now I'm going to show you how to remove it all and properly reinstall the clutch master cylinder first step that I always take is to remove these two 10 millimeter bolts and that's so that I can maneuver the clutch reservoir out of the way so I have clear access to the brake line nut that I need to get off I've now removed the two bolts and moved the clutch reservoir to the right. Now I have clear access to the clutch hard line and the 10 millimeter nut that I need to remove. To remove that line, I'm gonna use the 10 millimeter flare nut wrench. And this is so you don't round off your corners there back there. This is a very handy tool to use for those hard line nuts. Now the clutch heart line has been loosened. I'm just gonna pull it up, kind of move it out the way a little bit. Next thing you want to do is remove the two 12 millimeter bolts I showed you earlier, one there and one back there. This one you'll need a deep 12 millimeter for this side and you'll need a deep 12 millimeter and a three inch extension for that side. You do want to save the two 12 millimeter bolts that you remove from inside the car. Most likely your new clutch master cylinder will not come with those, so make sure to save those. Next thing you want to do is to remove the cotter pin that's holding the linkage to the pedal. And the cotter pin is right there. 
when the cotter pin is removed, all you have to do now is just push on the opposite end of the bolt. You can just use your finger and that will just pop right out. You want to make sure that you save that as well. Now with everything unbolted, you should be able to wiggle your master cylinder out of the car. Now we have shown the old master cylinder and the new clutch master cylinder. And what I like to do from here is just to make sure that the new one is relatively the same length as the old one so that you don't have to readjust your clutch when you put it in. So before I install this, I'll probably move this nut down just a little bit further so that it matches this length. That way you don't have to readjust your clutch. You have the same feel. The next step from here is to take your clutch reservoir and swap it onto the new master cylinder. And that's pretty simple. All you have to do is take a flathead and depress the spring clamp and reattach it to your new master cylinder. Now that I have attached the clutch reservoir to the clutch master cylinder, the next step is to bench bleed this clutch master cylinder. And this process is basically pre-bleeding your clutch master cylinder before you install it. So you can get out as much air as possible in this step before you install it. It doesn't have to be completely free of air, but you want most of it gone. So what I've done here is I've taken the hose that I showed you earlier, I threaded it into the hole right here and basically just twist, twist, twist. And it's pretty uh, secure connection there. Shouldn't allow too much air to pass through. And what I'll do now is I'll lap the hose back into the reservoir and I'll put fluid in there. And then once fluid is in there, I'll start pumping the clutch. And that way it'll start cycling the air through. It should get out most of the air. I don't know if you can see now most of the air is pretty much gone from inside the master cylinder. There's this little air pocket here, but that was from me expelling the air. So now that you've bench bled your master cylinder, it's time to reinstall it. And basically for reinstall, all you want to do is you want to keep all this attached. Uh, you don't have to keep this inside the cylinder, uh, but that way you can keep as much air outside of your master cylinder. Some more air will come back in as you're reinstalling, that's okay. Uh, you will have to re-bleed this system again, but the main thing is it'll be easier. You want to bleed it forever, 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 just to get all the air out. Installation is essentially opposite of removal. As you can see, first thing I do is I thread in the hard line first by hand. That way you don't strip anything. Thread that in after I put in the new master cylinder. Then I go inside and I reinstall the two 12 millimeter bolts and I reinstall the linkage. And the only thing I did change was I swapped where the cotter pin is facing. Uh, originally the cotter pin was on the other side, but if I ever have to change this out again, I would like the cotter pin to be on the side that I can see just for ease of removal and also ease of install as well. Here's just a quick shot of all the bolts in place and the new cotter pin installed as well. Now everything is reinstalled. The clutch reservoir is now bolted in. The hard line has been bolted in as well. Try to clean up a little bit. Now the next step is to go ahead and bleed your entire system from the clutch slave cylinder. Install is all complete. Hopefully that was as simple in video as it was in real life. It was very simple to install. If you have any questions as usual, comment down below. Any tips for me or for anybody watching this video to make this install faster or simpler, please comment down below as well. As always, I like to learn from my videos as much as I like to show. So please comment. I love to hear that. And as always, have a good one. I'm out.